Hey there, thanks for dropping in again. Just want to share some thoughts with you. Right now, it's starting to snow outside. I can see it coming down. It's uh, Tuesday, I mean, excuse me, it's Wednesday, all about 4.15 or so. And uh, I was thinking about this verse I'm going to read in a minute about envy. And, you know, there are some of us who would like to see a really big snow. Of course, we don't want it to interrupt work or church or anything like that. But if we could just, well, maybe the kids want it to interrupt school. We just like to have a nice snow. So here's this thought for you, a little funny thing. Uh, John Maxwell wrote this. He said, two cows were grazing in a pasture when they saw a milk truck pass. And on the side of the truck, it said, pasteurized, homogenized, standardized, vitamin A added. And on the other cow, the two cows, one cow sighed and said to the other, makes you feel sort of inadequate, doesn't it? Well, the verse I want to read is from Proverbs 23, verses 17 and 18. Do not let your heart envy sinners, but always be zealous for the fear of the Lord. There is surely a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. There's a tendency, I think, in all of us as human beings to be drawn to the things that other people have or get to do that we don't need, we just want. Maybe they're even wrong and sinful, and, and we wished, we envied. We desire, we covet. Sometimes we may feel the lure. If you read the Psalms and Proverbs, you'll see that these guys felt it too. We feel the lure of the freedom some people have. The freedom to do whatever they want, not worried about right or wrong. Maybe have this simple rule, as long as it doesn't hurt anybody. Or as long as I don't get caught. That kind of thing. We want the benefits of good character without the work. We want the wild fun and we want the things and the adventures and the pleasures that this world can offer. But in the midst of those thoughts, we get brought back to our commitment to follow Jesus, who loves us so much, who died on the cross for us, and who has a great future. He says here in Proverbs 23, different translation, Christian Standard Bible, Don't let your heart envy sinners. Instead, always fear the Lord. For then you will have a future, and your hope will not be dashed. Your hope will not be dashed. Here's a funny story. I don't know who wrote this, but it goes like this. It's probably been around a while. There was a hip young man who bought this really great car, a Ferrari GTO. Took it out for a spin. Stopped at a red light. Now, there was this old man who pulled up next to him in a moped. And the old man looked over at that sleek, shiny car. And he asked, what kind of car you got there, Sonny? A Ferrari GTO. It cost a half a million dollars, the guy said. The old man said, that's a lot of money. Why does it cost so much? And the young man said, because this car can do up to 320 miles per hour. Well, the moped driver asked, mind if I take a look inside? No problem. He leaned and look, looked over inside through the window and um, sitting back on his moped, he said, that's a pretty nice car, all right. Well, just when the light changed, the young driver decided, let me show this young guy, this old guy, what it can do. So he punched it. And within 30 seconds, the speedometer hit 160 miles per hour. Suddenly, the driver, this young man, noticed a dot in his rearview mirror. It was getting closer. And he slowed down to see what it could be. And whoosh, something went by him, going much faster. And he's thinking, what in the world could be faster than this, this Ferrari? Then ahead of him, he sees a dot coming back towards him. Whoosh, it went by again, heading the opposite direction. And he, it kind of looked like the old man on the moped. <laughs> Couldn't be. How could a moped outrun a Ferrari? Well, once more he saw the dot in his rearview mirror, followed by a bang as the speeding object crashed in the back of his Ferrari. So he jumped out of the car and he saw the old man laying on the pavement. Hey, are you okay? Is there anything I can do for you? And the old man said, unhook my suspenders from your side view mirror. <laughs> a good little lesson. Watch what you're envious of, because the Lord says, always fear the Lord. Don't set your heart on the envy of sinners, for then you'll have a future, and your hope will not be dashed. Well, I hope you enjoyed the fun, and keep in mind the good word for you from God's word. God bless. Take care.